Hi there. Today I will talk about how to handle the image files in Leica LSX software. There are two ways to save the images in the software. One is called a lift file, short for Leica image file. Another one is called an extended Leica file. I will talk about extended Leica file first. This file format will be used when you enable or to save. In this format, the image data and the metadata are saved separately. And the images will be saved right after you capture each image. When do you use it? Usually it is preferred when you do long time-lapse experiments, or if you just want to auto-save in a non-LIF format, like a TIFF. Even if you choose auto-save, but at the end of the experiment, you still have a choice to save this project as a LIF file so that you have another copy with all the images in one file. It's just up to you to do it or not. How to enable the auto save? In the open project tab, at the bottom, enable the project setting, and then click the plus sign. There you can click the auto save button, define the folder where you want to save the pictures, and then the format you want to save the image data. Usually people choose TIFF. We then close this dialog, add a new project. The new one will be called XLEF format. From now on, you start to acquire the images. The images will be captured immediately in the hard drive as the format you choose, and the metadata saved along with it. So now I go back to the Leica image file format and I talk about how to handle the large image files. To go back, I simply click the plus sign again and check the auto save. Make sure when you switch between file format, always create a new project file. How does the lift file get too big? One reason is, lift file format is just a container to store all the images. It can hold many image series for the same experiment. So when a lot of pictures are stored in one file, the size will get big, of course. So my suggestion is create a new project whenever you switch a slide or sample. Or keep monitoring the size so that the size is smaller than four gigabytes. So it's easy to copy by USB or upload through cloud. However, if you do a big stitching in Navigator, it's just one single experiment that will produce a big file. You just have no other choices. So this time, we will have to get a big lift file. This file sometimes can be hundred of a gigabyte big. Two things happen next usually. One is how do you transfer the data? It is super easy to transfer the file to external USB drive, as long as you have NTFS file system format on the USB drive. However, if you need to transfer through the cloud, there might be a single file size limit, like a five gigabyte per file. In that case, use the compression utility software, like a 7-zip, to split this big lift file into smaller four gigabyte files. Another thing is, what do you do with those stitched big images next? You can review on this imaging computer or install a copy of the LASX offline software on another PC to review them. Or if you use Fiji or other third-party software to analyze the images, double check if they can open lift file directly. I know for sure Fiji and ImageJ can. Still, you likely need to export the big stitched image for presentation or publication. That's our next topic. First of all, note this fact. TIFF file format was developed many years ago when they used 32-bit offset to store the image data. That leads to roughly four gigabytes in file size. Usually for presentation or publication, you do not need the full resolution of the stitched image anyway. So we will export the stitched image with reduced size. There are two ways to do it. One is during export, you have a choice to reduce the tile scan size. The export TIFF will have the smaller pixel size and the file size. I have a simulated picture here. 
right click and export the image, you will see a reduced tile scan size here. Use a slider to change from 1% up to 100%. Click Save. You will have the reduced file size and image size. There's another way to do it. You go to Process. You choose the Resize function. Then you can change the percentage here. Click Apply. That will generate a new file with a smaller size. Either way is fine, it's up to you. A few tips and tricks on handling large lift files. During saving or loading, do not interrupt. It might take quite a few minutes if you're saving, say, 100 gigabyte data. After the file is saved, create a new project file if you continue to capture images. In that case, you do not need to save the previously saved project again. During loading, we have a smart load function. You will see a white progress line under each large image set. Wait for the line to be gone before you review that particular image set. And in the file folder, you might notice there is another file called lift ext next to the large file. This is called image pyramid. Treat it as a thumbnail image for the large lift image file. So copy both files when you transfer the data. So now you should know how to handle large image size in LSX software now. If you have any questions, please contact a local advanced workflow specialist or fill out the form at leica-microsystem.com. Thank you.